Hi folks, Coach Mo here. Welcome to another Motivational Monday. It's a Mo in the Motivation and a Mo in the Monday, so it must be my day. And it's your day too. Today we have a special guest, Alicia Lincoln. Welcome, I'll say again, to the uh, Coach Mo universe. Nice to have you. Thank you so much, Mo. I am so excited to be here today. Thanks. Well, I'm super happy to introduce you and talk with you about one of my unlikely favorite topics. And it's a favorite topic because of the work that we did together personally. Um, Alicia is a wonderful stylist. And she and I worked together last year and helped me craft um, an easier way for me to build my wardrobe, wear clothes more confidently, et cetera. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. And uh, we're going to talk about reclaiming your soul through your style and how, how what you wear is really affecting you more than you might think. And it's affecting you in such a way that you may not be showing up in the ways that you really want to show up and you're probably not quite getting it. So we're going to talk about that today because I know what that feels like. And Alicia helped me profoundly last year. It was a, a transformative experience working with Alicia. And I just thought we were gonna like look at my clothes. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit deeper than that, folks. And of course it was wonderful for me because that's how I like to roll. Alicia brings so much more to the table than just style, although she's jam packed with expertise on that as well. So Alicia, we're gonna dive into um, really what the, what the biggest problems are for, uh, particularly for women as we kind of craft that, that's my audience typically, although there might be some men here. Guys, same story for you. Um, so there's some big problems that occur over time as we get sort of in a rut, aren't there? And if we say that um, you can definitely reclaim your soul through your style, let's talk about the things that begin to creep in that get us in our ruts. What are the top things that you see? And by the way, if you want to introduce yourself a little bit more, I'm just diving in because I know you so well. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you because I'm just like taking it for granted here because I know you. Please, yes. tell us a little bit about you. I'm so happy to know you. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I am, my name is Alicia Lincoln. I am a former fashion editor. I used to work on magazines, commercial shoots, styling celebrities, ad campaigns. And now I am a personal fashion stylist. And my focus is on helping everyday professional women feel confident in their clothes. I want them to understand how to use their clothes so that they look current, feel confident, but that they stay true to themselves. It's so important that your clothes are just a reflection of who you are in on the inside, but a very polished and well put together reflection. Right, right. right. And I, I dare say when we first started working together, I thought to myself, is she gonna make me wear stuff I don't wanna wear? Um, this is why we get into a comfort zone because all of a sudden we might wake up one day and we're wearing like the same clothes. We've gotten ourselves convinced of certain fashion faux pas and we might not be looking as bright and shiny as we want to. What are some of the key things that you see Alicia on um, why women don't feel great in their clothes anymore? Well, this is something that I see a lot. In fact, this is a huge reason why women come to me is because they're not, they're not dressing how they want to. They know they could be doing better. And so here's what happens. The body changes. So that happens. Maybe they gain some weight. Maybe they've gotten a little older and they're just confused. They don't know how to do it anymore because what they were doing is no longer working. So confusion can put you in a state of powerlessness, right? So this is what yep. happens. You see, this is this is what happens when you're in a rut is you become yep. powerless to yep. your confusion of not knowing, not even knowing where to start. So mm -hmm. I have clients who are stuck in a rut uh, from wearing maybe the same things over and over again. So this is only working with a small portion of their closet. So mm -hmm. they might have so many clothes, but they just reach for the same few things every single time because it's what they know. They don't know how to do any better. And another thing that happens is that they just can't be bothered. They don't have a lot of time. Right. So it goes onto the back burner. 
So it, I, I just can't deal with this right now. I'm just gonna put this thing on because I know it kind of works, even though I know that I could feel so much better than I do. And that's what happens is that they put on these clothes and it's holding them back in some way or another. They're maybe a little bit self-conscious because they're not sure anymore with the changes in the body or the aging. They're not sure that what they're wearing even works. So they're a little bit self-conscious. And this shows up in very subtle ways in how you're meeting with your clients, meeting with your boss. This is the way you present yourself when you've got in the back of your mind, like, hmm, did I wear the right thing? This is right. Yeah. It holds you back. Totally. Totally. And and not only are you questioning a big part of how you're showing up in the world, but it 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 starts aggravating your entire self-confidence. Because then that little voice turns into, well, that's stupid that you wore this. What were you thinking? You're not, not as smart as you think you are. You're not as good as you think you I mean, that self-doubt creature turns into this monster. And, and folks, we're talking about clothes, but let me tell you, I know how deep this goes because I worked with Alicia on this and I was in the same trap. I had gained weight over, I don't know, 10 years. And that same weight was sort of still hanging out. So over those 10 years, I crept into some very sloppy patterns of wearing clothes, restricting my options, feeling sort of slouchy, um, and not feeling snappy on, on the clothes I was wearing anymore. And it was sort of a downer to go out. It was sort of a downer to have to pick clothes for dinner. It was sort of a downer. I mean, just it started adding up. So literally, I didn't get excited about going out anymore. It was a hassle because I felt crappy looking through my closet thinking about what I was gonna look good in. And I, felt, I basically went through my closet every time to go out going, Nothing looks good on me. I can't believe I haven't lost this weight. I can't believe I'm that lazy. I can't believe that, like, who in their world needs more of that? But Alicia, this is what happens with women, it doesn't it? This is exactly what happens with women. So you're starting your day with, why can't I lose weight? So you're starting your day feeling angry at yourself. Yes. And frustrated at your body. I mean, right. the relationship that this is with your body, you get yeah. so angry at it. And then you move into your whole day carrying this with you. And you might not be aware how it's impacting you, but how can it not impact you? When right. you're starting in this energy, this is the energy that you're bringing yeah. up to the world. And this is the energy people are going to respond to. Right. Now, I'm just going to be in a tell-all mode, mode here, Alicia, because we work so great uh, with each other last year. And I've continued to take everything that you coached me on into progressive wardrobe choices uh, through last year, through the holidays, and in actually refining my wardrobe for 2020. I think you'd even be proud of me on some of those choices that I've made. I was wearing um, the proverbial work from home sweatpants. And I told you when we, and they weren't just, they weren't like the really bad sweatpants. They at least had pockets in them. And they were from Land's End, but folks, they were stretchy sweatpants. I'm not just going to be honest with you. Um, but I was like, no, I'm not going to keep wearing these. Even though I work from home, I want to wear slacks and something I feel more professional and more put together. in. So we upgraded the slacks into more of a golf slack, something comfortable. And since I live in South Florida, I sometimes wear shorts during the day. But again, I didn't want to wear frumpy sweatpantsy shorts. I wanted to wear shorts that were, that were fitted and looked good and put a top together with it. And so I upgraded all of that look and I literally feel better every single day just wearing that. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. And I yeah. will say, I actually recently experienced this. It was a couple weeks ago. I was, I had a really big week, like a full on week. I was out there all energy all the time. So over the weekend, I decided that I was just going to not really get dressed. And I'm going to tell you by the end of the weekend, it made a huge impact in my mood. It does. It impacts your mood and how you feel. By the time Monday rolled around, I could not wait to get back into my clothes because I needed to feel like myself again. <laughs> Honestly, you start to like see right. it, it spirals. Right. And let it go on for too long. You start to right. lose touch with that energized, vibrant right. version of yourself. Right. 
Right. So if you put together the scene of a professional woman uh, kicking herself every morning, look, going in her closet, wearing the same old things over and over to hide certain flaws in her body because she's gained weight, doesn't feel as fit, whatever. Um, she shows up at work where her boss has given her a hard time anyway. She hasn't gotten the promotion. She knows she's underpaid. Uh, she has her master's degree and that really hasn't quite panned out. So she's feeling crappy about all of that. Ladies, I don't know if I'm speaking to you, <laughs> but I know I'm speaking to hundreds of women I speak to on our clarity calls. And I know you speak to these women as well. It is not a place to thrive in. If that is your day, if that's the outside world turned from the inside, you're feeling like crap. Your wardrobe chase cho choices aren't showing power. You're not looking as fresh and energized in the workplace. And it's affecting everything because people are noticing not only what you're wearing, but how you're feeling. People notice that. And you know what? The higher up you are in the organization, the more sensitive people are to how you feel about yourself. I mean, what you wear says everything. Your, your clothes is the first thing that people see about you. Right. So if you're not putting any effort, any energy, any time into your wardrobe, this is what people are, this is what you're communicating. I'm not worth it. I yeah. don't have time for myself. It's, right. It doesn't matter. It's not right. important, you know? So it's in a way, it could be seen as even being a little disrespectful to the people who you're meeting yeah. with. It's like, it didn't, right. wasn't important for me. Right. To do this. Right. And you know, I see the same thing with income. So sometimes women say to me, well, I make enough. It doesn't matter. Well, that's why you're not making more. So you might want to scrub off your priorities on what you're wearing, how it's making you feel. And, and Alicia, would you suggest that um, women just do like a little bit of a wardrobe diary, like what they're wearing and how it makes them feel as kind of like to get the awareness brought up? I think that's a great idea. I'm a huge journaler. I love to be keeping track of how I'm feeling. But what I really recommend that women do is the same way you would plan out your, if you're going on a healthy eating program, it's going to make a lot more sense for you to plan out your meals in advance. That way, when you have no time on Wednesday evening, you're not reaching for the first junky thing that you can get. So yeah. I find the same thing with my clients with outfit planning. If yeah. you can just give yourself an hour on the weekend to think about, well, first of all, think about how you want to feel during the week. Think about all the activities that you have lined up. Who do you need to be? How do you want to feel? And then match your clothes, plan your outfits to really mm -hmm. express this. That's mm -hmm. going to really help you out so that on Wednesday morning, when you've slept a little late and you don't have a lot of time, you're still going to be able to put together that outfit right. and wear and present how you intended to. Yes, that's awesome. Now, I did a lot of traveling as an executive, so I had to really plan my outfits because I had to make sure they were, you know, from the cleaners or... You know, if I was traveling in different weather or whatever, I had to kind of plan ahead. But I always felt better having my week planned out in my clothes. And I sort of do that now also because if I'm doing a Facebook Live or I'm going to be more visible, I have to make sure I have certain things that I want to wear or a certain way that I want to look. Um, when you don't do that, you're not only wasting time uh, stressed out in the morning, but you're also then probably putting together kind of the same old, same old, right? I mean, just kind of leaning on the, on the stuff that is making you feel not that, that awesome. Well, when you, um, I know, you, I know you've got a, a webinar coming up to kind of go more deeply into some of these things. You want to talk about that briefly? Yeah. Um, because we can, I know we can't cover all of those aspects of uh, what you would help coach a woman on, but talk a little bit about what you're going to talk about in your webinar and just yes. kind of speed that up. So I have a webinar coming up. It's called Reclaim Your Style and Make the Fashion Rules Work for You. And basically I have created this webinar as a response to the women who I've spoken to on the phone, to the women I work with. There are too many, there is this population of successful women who are just missing the mark 
when it comes mm -hmm. to their style. They're, they're going out and they're having that kind of nudgy feeling that something's not quite right. Maybe getting dressed used to be way more fun when they were younger or when they were thinner. Um, yeah. They see the trends going on on Fashion Week because you know this is Fashion Month right now. So there's a lot of runway fashion going on and you look at that and you're like, well, I want to be current, but how do I make that work for me? So right. that is exactly what I'm going to address in this okay. webinar. I'm going to help you reclaim your style so it becomes yeah. fun again and it yeah. becomes an expression of who you are. And we're going to talk about making the fashion rules work for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you also are flexible when it comes to budgets and that sort of thing. You helped me find um, some pieces for my wardrobe that were super affordable. And then we decided there was going to be a couple of pieces that were stretching uh, my idea of what I thought was acceptable for a pair of slacks or for a jacket. And we got some really cool, fun uh, pieces that were a little bit of a stretch for me. And now I understand some of those things a little bit better. What do you think is the number one faux pas that women make on the money that they spend on clothes? I think women try to save money on clothes when it's not the right time or the place. So for example, I see women clients making a lot of shopping mistakes. So what happens is they go into a place that has less expensive clothes, like a Marshall's or something like that. And, the, and they decide that they're going to buy something because it's, it's a cheap price. And then what happens is they get that thing home and it just sits there. They never want to wear it. First of all, it doesn't go with anything else. Second of all, it just doesn't feel good on their body. Fabrication nah. is a big thing with my clients. And when I work with people, I really want them to wear quality pieces. And that doesn't mean you have to spend a fortune. There's other ways to get quality. But I think the biggest mistake is people think that they're saving money. So they try to cut corners. And then in the end, that just becomes something that doesn't make sense for their life. And then it becomes a waste of money because it ends up sitting in the closet untouched. And if you do try to go back and return that thing, now you're wasting your time. Now, instead of hanging out with your family or your friends or loved ones, you're standing in line at that Marshall's and you're probably like hot and sweaty because I always get so hot and sweaty in those <laughs> stores and you're waiting to go return your, you know, $24.99 item, which... I don't know if it was me, I would be, it would be sitting in my closet and then I would just get resentful every time I looked at it. And, and then it reminds you of the yeah. mistake and then it, right. then now we're back exactly. to that whole starting your day in that right. place. Right, right. And then it eventually gets donated to Goodwill when I finally get over myself enough that I'm not going to wear it or I do wear it and I feel even worse because it's not what I thought it was going to look like or I'm just trying too hard or things like that. And ladies, look, I'm, I was raised Catholic. I wore uniforms K through 12. I didn't know how to really dress. If I wasn't in a uniform, I was in some type of sport. So I was wearing a uniform for that team or just, you know, uh, doing outdoor activities. So I really felt very awkward fashion wise all of my life because I, I just didn't get that sense and it wasn't a natural thing for me. When you and I started working together, Alicia, I realized I actually did have a fashion sense and that it was sort of coming out and I felt bad about it because I didn't understand it. So I know that's the other thing that you do in such a brilliant way. Um, you helped me really understand my fashion sense. And it made sense now of things that I tended to gravitate toward and why. And rather than just feel like I had this sense of, well, that looks kind of good on me, doesn't it? Or that looks kind of, I now understand what that's all about. Um, I'm sure most women have a certain similar thing, like they feel awkward around their choices, that there's something that they're always gravitating toward or kind of like this look-alike um, syndrome. What do, we, what do we do with, with that when it's kind of like every half the stuff in our closet sort of looks the same because well, we're doing that? Well, I think it's a really important part of this is what you had said. It's understanding your style. It's mm -hmm. understanding your body. It's understanding your personality and your taste and it's understanding your lifestyle. And then it is about finding the right garments, finding the right pieces yeah. that work with you. So you don't need to try to fit into something else. You want these pieces to fit into who you are already. Yeah, that's what you helped me do. That's exactly what it was that you helped me do. And uh, I didn't have to be someone I wasn't. 
based on the style choice. So although the, some of the stuff that we looked at, I was like a, a, a really quick no. But you were helping me imagine and expand. And then there were some things that I was sort of a no and you were like, why? And we went for it and some of that worked out really brilliantly. And I loved that, that I had some expansion to my wardrobe. And now I feel much more comfortable going outside of my comfort zone or the things that I gravitate toward. And I also feel more comfortable gravitating toward the things that I gravitate toward and why, rather than judging myself. Because they're you, that's right. your style. Right, right. And once I got comfortable with that, like half of my burden went away, seriously. I mean, as you know, because we, we worked together uh, for a couple of months, uh, kind of whittling things down and then looking at my closet and putting stuff together. And there were some uh, events I went to that you helped me sort out what I was going to wear and sort of why and the look I was going for. And that was really, really helpful. And I also got comfortable with some of the style choices that I had made by default to kind of cover up my body flaws. I didn't want to expose too much and exactly how to do that better. Well, that's, yeah, that's exactly what, that's exactly what good styling is. It's understanding <laughs> okay. how to work with your body. Most important, yeah. you, you have to work with the body you have. So yeah. start where you're at, work with the body that you have, and then use your clothes to make you look even better. Right, right. And, and as, as we got started working with each other, um, it was this whole thing that I'm sure you hear all the time, well, you know, I really don't want to make so many wardrobe choices until I lose that 10 pounds that I haven't lost for 10 years or that 20 pounds I haven't lost for 10, for 10 years. And you know what? I was ready to basically say, screw it. It's not happening. If I lose the weight and whatever, I at least now know what to buy and how to go about it. Um, you were able to really help me get comfortable also with not having had lost that, not having the perfect body anymore. I mean, I'm in my late fifties. I mean, you know, it's great for women who are at my age who have like the perfect body and they're all staying in shape and everything. That's not me. I've had a fair amount of health conditions that have kind of pushed me into a little bit of a whatever, uh, per imperfect body and including a double mastectomy, which, you know, changes the way the body looks. Um, so when people are styling for that imperfect body, I know you can't have every answer here, but what's, what's like the thing that you usually help your, your clients with? What's the, what's the thing that you're like helping? Well, I help with? them understand the styling strategies to work with every body shape. So there's just yeah. some foundational, there's some foundational things you can start paying attention to that will help to guide your choices. Now, I don't believe you need to follow all of the rules all the time as right. in my webinars about making the rules work for you, but yeah, yeah. understanding your body and working with it and then using your clothes to make yourself look better. That is completely possible. I work with so many women in their fifties who mm -hmm. look fantastic in their mm -hmm. clothes. They look yeah. fantastic. So yeah. it's really about owning, this is where I am at my life and this is the style that I'm going to have. And then wearing your clothes with supreme confidence. And these women look fantastic. I mean, 50, 60, it is not the 50 and 60 that used to be. You know, 50 right. and 60 is fabulous now. Yeah, yeah, it is. Thank you. It is. <laughs> and, I, and I see it firsthand all the time. The women who I work with, yeah. they look amazing. So yeah. it's, it's about accepting the body that you have, working with it, and then, you know, using the styling strategies that are going to help to elevate your style. Right. And the other thing that you helped me with, and, you know, the internet – Everything's available to everyone, but I don't know where to look other than the obvious. And you really helped open my eyes on a variety of different outlets and avenues and just things to look for, including some labels that I didn't know that other than like the big obvious labels like Gucci and Ralph Lauren, like I didn't know that there were other fashion labels that had certain styles and you introduced me to some of that. And so now there's some, labels that I that are not the big house labels that are way out there but there are these other brands that work perfectly fine for me and I know when I see something from them I think oh that that, that might work for me so I have all these other avenues to pursue for options that are not just going to the regular department store and just looking through clothes 
Um, you really helped me get comfortable with my body. You really helped me understand my fashion sense and getting confident and happy with that. Even though I was telling myself a story all my life about not having fashion sense yeah. and, um, and really getting comfortable with how I carry my body and clothes. And I gotta tell you folks, if you're listening to this, this is the absolute truth. And Alicia helped me really understand this. I was always thinking I wasn't dressed properly. I always had this thing on my shoulder that I wasn't dressed right. Always. I carried it with me everywhere. And I don't know if it was the Catholic kid thing. I don't know if it was the tomboy not looking like a girl enough. I don't know if it was just being awkward for so many years, but I always had this sense that I wasn't in tune and aligned with what I was wearing. That is gone. That is completely gone because of your great work. And I will say, in, in the work that we did together, I got to know you quite well. And you and I are both very, very energetically on the same page with, if you're not aligned with yourself and your soul, the stuff out there is not gonna work. Yeah. And you're not gonna be putting it together in a way that's feeling powerful. So it's, it's the basis of, of the work you do. You're beautifully, energetically aligned, wonderful, deep thinker and, and and uh, coach on clothes, you're a clothes coach, if I could say it that way. Uh, more wardrobe and fashion, obviously, but to me, that's what you help me be comfortable with. And uh, we do the same type of work. We've shared clients, which is a lot of fun. I love that. And uh, we have some of your styling expertise and that sort of thing in my uh, kick ass workshop. But, folks, if you really want to take yourself to the next level of presenting yourself as a professional, confident woman, you've got to get right with your style. And it's something that Alicia does in a very, very great way. Um, it worked for me and I continue to feel great about my style and the choices I make. And I can now consider to be Alicia, one of my friends. And um, Alicia, where can they find your webinar that you're doing uh, very shortly? Well, the best place is to go to alishalankin.com forward slash reclaim. Reclaim. And you can find all the details there. Uh, if you go to my website at alishalankin.com, you will find lots of great styling tutorials, videos, blog posts to help give you the tips and the tricks that you need to feel confident in your clothes. It's awesome. That's really, really awesome. And you can look below. We'll make sure we include the link here. And um, Alicia, you're awesome. I always like talking with you. It's so oh, great. You're awesome. You. No, you, no, you, no, you, no, you. I know that, you know, serendipitously, we're both wearing our power black, although black is not my power color. It's mm -hmm. navy, and you and I speak about that, but black is certainly a staple, and, you know, on a Monday, you throw a black shirt on, they look great, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's also, it's not a great weather day here in New York City today, so, <laughs> you know, I decided to use my power necklace instead. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. It's always great talking with you. Thanks so much for visiting me on this Motivational Monday. Reclaim your soul through your style and attend Alicia's webinar to get even deeper on the things that she can help you with. And if you choose to work with her, you won't regret it at all. She's awesome. Alicia, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.